Hey guys, welcome back to another Adrian Graphics and Marketing video. Today, I wanted to talk about a sensitive topic that's gonna to be pretty polarizing, as you can tell by the title and even the thumbnail. This topic is something that a lot of people talk about, especially here in the US, but it may not be as much talked about in India. And so I wanted to talk about this today because I feel like this is super important. I wanna call this out. There's a gigantic elephant in the room. In fact, I feel like there's multiple elephants in the room that I wanna get out of there. And I wanna make sure that we clear the air and we help the entire graphic design industry as a whole. So today's video is about America versus India in graphic design specifically. And what is the difference? Why is India where it's at? Why is America where it's at? And how is it impacting the world? So massive population, over 1.3 billion people versus America has 333 million. And there's a lot of differences between the two countries, but these two countries are competing for graphic design work. And there's a major, major disconnect here that's happening in our industry. And I wanna help fix this. I love this industry. I love you, whether you're from India or from America. So I wanna take the time to tackle this topic. That's a lot of tease. The first thing I want to do is we're going to cover the five areas that I feel like are very important in this conversation. And the first area that I want to cover is cost of living. This one is a big deal. The cost of living in India in comparison to the United States is night and day. If you look at the average income that you need to have to support a family of four, in India, you're talking about $1,200. Now keep in mind that doesn't include your rent, but if you look at America, you're talking about $3,200. So almost three times the cost of living. But the scary part about that is that the actual rent cost is 86% higher in the US compared to India. So people in India have a really great advantage of here. Their lower cost of living, uh, there's a much higher population. So I'm sure that there's a lot more competition out there for graphic designers. You have to get really, really good at design. And I've seen a lot of really great design come out of India. So the second one is culture. Culture is a big deal when it comes to dealing with graphic designers in the US versus India. I like to say this because I feel like this is the truest statement that I can make and some of you guys may not like this, but in the United States, we are a very entitled country. Not just graphic designers, but just as a whole. We are the know-it-alls. We expect everything to just happen for us. It's all about convenience. India is not like that. India is a lot more driven on the people as groups working together, supporting each other. They're very family oriented, where America really has this idea of kind of every man for themselves. And I really have never really enjoyed that part of America. When I got to travel overseas and spend some time with people that were from India, I really got to know them as people and understand their backgrounds and what made them tick. And they really have a high value for family. So the culture in India is much different than it is here in the US. One of the advantages that I think, and a couple of the advantages that I think India has over the US is they have this always on mentality. Especially if they're freelancers, they're always working. They're on Facebook and social media and all the different sites, hustling and trying to get new business, whether that's Fiverr and Upwork. They are very responsive about their business and they are really focused on their income. And I really admire and respect that about people. And they're very hungry to learn. A lot of the people that comment on these videos are from India. And these are some of my most loyal, some of my best followers and subscribers here. So I wanna thank you guys for that. And just being so open-minded, where a lot of the people in the US are very closed-minded. They think they know it all. Oh, I went to design college. I went and got my degree. I have my bachelor's degree in graphic design. A lot of people have this I know it all mentality. And so they're not as open-minded. And so this is a really important thing that you need to be considering, whether you're in the US or in India, is being open-minded, always remaining a student. This is something I teach a lot of my people to do, is I want you to start reading every single day. I want you to watch tutorials and training videos every day. I want you to get 1% better every single day. And Indian people just ha naturally have what I call the immigrant mentality. They have that culture of being able to know they're not just living to work, but they're working to live and they wanna feed their families, take care of their families, not just their immediate family, but the people outside of their household, like their parents. And I really respect and admire that. And American people, like I said, they're great as well. I've been born, raised here my entire life, but there is this go, 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 grind, grind, grind kind of mentality as well, but it's really just how I can win rather than how my whole entire community can win. So I'm trying to change that perception here in the US. I'm trying to build more community and more networking, which I feel is really, really important. The third point I wanted to make is compensation. You'll notice these are all with a C. The US is known for charging about 30 to 32, even on the low side, 25, and as high as $35 an hour for graphic design work. What I do and what I teach to my students and to my community and to my network is you should be charging at least 50 and as high as 150. That should be the range. But more than that, even more important than charging an hourly rate is I want people in India and I want people in the US to stop selling 
price and hourly rate, stop selling your time and start selling value. What is the value of that project that you're providing for them? It's not just the graphic design, it's the marketing piece. When you look at the graphic design industry, that is a subcategory of wealth. The reason why they're having you do a design is because they wanna make more money and they're building a marketing piece that is gonna generate more wealth. So really as a graphic designer, what you're doing is producing wealth for people. And so if you're charging $2 an hour, which is the average hourly rate, $2.40 per hour in India, that is not enough to survive on here in the US. And so it makes it very difficult for people in the US to survive when they're having to compete against $2.40 an hour. What I want everybody that's watching this video and hopefully you share this with a friend, please do that, is I want you guys to start raising your prices because what that's gonna do is that's gonna raise the entire industry and rising tides raise all ships. And if you start going from $2.40 an hour and give yourself a raise to $10, $15, or let's just say $12 an hour, which is not that unrealistic, and you raise your prices, you're not gonna lose a bunch of business from people in the US. You're probably just gonna gain better clients, less nightmare clients, and you're gonna help the whole entire industry as a whole raise, not just India, but the US and globally. So this is a really big deal, something I really want you to take to heart, something that I really wanted to share in this video, and I hope this is super helpful. Now, the fourth point I wanna make is communication. Communication. This is an area that all people struggle with, whether you're a graphic designer in the US and in India and in, in Europe, wherever you are, it doesn't matter. If communication is something we can improve, what is it that a graphic designer in India needs versus a graphic designer in the US? For me, and just my own experiences, which I'm speaking on all these topics about, is just from my own personal experience, is graphic designers in India deserve more respect. Raise your hand if you're a write a comment if you would like to get more respect. Respect is very, very important, and a lot of people in India don't get the respect they deserve, especially when it comes from people in the US. This is a super important area that I want you to focus on. And the way you're gonna do that and get more respect is by being proactive versus reactive. Many graphic designers, especially in India, are very reactive, and they see a crisis or something comes up or somebody needs something and they just fix it versus getting in front of the problem. If you're working on behalf of a company in the US, you need to be proactive and be thinking about the ways you can help them. Imagine if it was your own business, how would you solve certain problems? How would you approach certain situations? This is a really big deal that a lot of people in the US really struggle with too, is being proactive. The higher you price your services, the more they're gonna value it. That's just the natural reaction. The more expensive, if you look at a Louis Vuitton purse, you're not gonna buy it for $15 unless you buy it on some third party knockoff site and it's not even a real authentic bag right? So people value the things that they pay more for. So raising your prices isn't going to hurt anybody. It's actually going to bring you more business. You're going to be able to work less and make more money, which is really important for anybody. I don't care where you are in the world, right? This is a really important factor. One of the downfalls that I see with American designers is they're always chasing the next client. And because of that, their clients feel like they're just forgotten about. Like, hey, I paid for this design two weeks ago and I haven't heard anything from anybody they abandon their current client to go chase the next client. And designers are notorious for doing this. It hurts the entire industry. So if you're doing this, whether you're in the US or you're in India or any part of the world, stop it. You can't do that. You need to keep top of mind with your clients and you need to make sure that they're always being updated. This is something I preach to my students. These are something I preach to my team. We always need to have the client understand exactly where we're at so they're never feeling like we forgot about them. One of the things that I've learned about graphic designers in India is they're incredibly friendly. I've never met a graphic designer in India that wasn't friendly using SIRs and really professional approaches. Like they're very kind, but something that you need to consider, especially if in the, you're in the US and you're sending work to India, is they're very sensitive. And sorry if I hurt anybody's feelings with that comment, but it's true. If you talk down to them and say, give me this, and why did you do that? And why did you screw up? You're gonna lose that person. They're probably gonna disappear and you'll never hear from them again. And that's what's given the bad taste in American people's mouth in terms of outsourcing to India. And it's because Americans are the problem. They don't understand how to talk to people in India and that people in India don't truly how to understand. There's a communication gap, right? And people in India don't know how to effectively communicate with people in the US. And so there's this issue and this breakaway part. And that's why we are teaming up with Outsource School, which is off topic, but something I wanted to mention to help Americans and Indians come together. And we're gonna talk about that more in future videos. But this is a really big deal. You need to understand how to communicate with each other better. One of the challenges that I see in American graphic designers is the fact that American graphic designers are focused on their art and their ego more than just serving the client. 
Sometimes the client will give feedback or they'll pick a bad logo and the client or the designer will get their feelings hurt and say, no, that's not right. And they'll battle the client on the design and say, no, this is, I've been doing this, I'm the professional. And they'll get combative with the client versus people in India are tend to be more passive. They don't have the same level of overconfidence or ego that people in America do. And so they tend to be more passive and they just accept what the client wants to do instead of leading the client. So both of those are really bad. Those are bad ends of the spectrum to be on on either side. So you wanna find that middle place where you're educating, where you're leading the client and you're letting the client get what they want at the end of the day because keeping your client happy and keeping them with you is super, super important. If you don't have clients, you got no business, right? So this is a really important thing that I wanted to share with you as well. Another challenge that you need to be aware of inside of communication is the time zone. The time zone of people in the US that are sending and doing work for people in the US and people that are sending work from the US to India, there's a time zone difference. There's a big time zone difference. While you're working, they're sleeping. And while they're sleeping, you're working, unless they're working on your time schedule. This is something that's really important to talk about if you're gonna send work overseas and you're gonna send work to India or to any country for that matter, is what schedule are they working on? Are they working on your time zone? Or are they working on their time zone? This is an area that I see a lot of clients struggle with, a lot of people struggle with, a lot of freelancers struggle with. And so you need to be able to be aware of where you fit. If you working at two o'clock in the morning, your time, to serve people in America isn't working for you, then go on to your schedule and maybe you start sending work and start getting work from other countries other than the US. There's plenty of other business in other countries where you can get work. I know English is the, the most important and most valuable language right now in our world, but it's important that there are other English speaking countries like Australia and things that are gonna have a closer time zone that's gonna fit better for you. At the end of the day, I want you to have the life and the business of your dreams. You can design your business and your life and the future that you truly want if you just take some of these principles to heart. The last and the fifth point is the clients. Now, I think a lot of people in India, like I said before, are really focused on getting business from the US because people in the US pay a lot. But don't forget about the other countries that are out there. There are lots of opportunities for you in European countries and Eastern Asian countries all over the world. You can get opportunities and do graphic design work. It doesn't have to come just to the US. In fact, I think that people in Switzerland and some other countries, there's a huge demand for that work. And so look outside of your area and you can also bring work that you're getting in the US back to people in India as well, as long as you have some leadership training and some leadership abilities and you're able to price this stuff accordingly. You can't sell a graphic design or a logo design for $17 and then go send it to somebody in India and pay them $2. You're not helping them, you're not helping the industry, you're not helping anybody. And so I really want to encourage you to really start raising your prices, really start getting your prices to where you're selling the value and you're not just selling your time. I know that 10, 15, 20, 30, and $50 an hour is a lot for people in India, but the reality is it's not when you look at the global economy. So start thinking globally and locally, but I really want you to start raising your prices. This is gonna help the entire industry as a whole. Quoting 10, 15, $20 for a logo or $5 for a logo doesn't help your client, doesn't help you. It's not a win-win for anybody. And so the last thing I wanna share with you in this point inside of the client side is if you're an American and you're watching this video, start sending some work overseas and start training people on the right way to do business and start focusing on the communication, the cash flow, the compensation that you're paying them. Pay them a fair wage. Don't just go down to their $2 an hour wage and try to negotiate them down as cheap as you can. Pay them a fair wage. It's already gonna, probably gonna be less than you would pay somebody here in the US. You wanna pay everybody a fair living wage and you wanna help raise the entire industry, right? It's not just about you, it's about the industry. So I really want you guys to take those points to heart. I know this is a little bit longer than normal, but this is a really important video. I had a feeling this would be polarizing and if it was, definitely drop a comment down below. I wanna hear from you. What did you think? Is this a video topic that you like? Because there are other challenges in the graphic design industry that I think we need to face. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, share this with a fellow graphic designer. And if you haven't already, check out the Instagraphics Pro Network on Facebook, jump into our community. We're doing a lot of amazing stuff and we have some really cool stuff we're gonna share with you here real soon. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell and as always, keep looking up.